Thank you to Climeworks for sponsoring this video. Climeworks removes carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, helping reverse climate change. Go to gift.climeworks.com slash scishow to give the sustainable gift of CO2 removal. Medical treatments have come a long way in the last couple centuries. We now have all sorts of options, from carefully formulated capsules to treatments that harness x-rays. But for all our progress, modern medicine still has a ways to go, especially when it comes to cancer treatments. That's because cancer drugs often target any rapidly dividing cells, which include, but are not limited to, a patient's cancer. That can lead to some not-so-nice side effects, like nausea or hair loss. But researchers might have found a way to treat tumors and only tumors by exploiting their love for iron. And they published their findings this week in the Journal of Experimental Medicine. Researchers were interested in a particularly nasty kind of pancreatic cancer called pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma, or PDA. Treatments for PDA aren't that effective right now, partly because tumors start out microscopic in size, making it hard to get the drugs to go there. So having a targeted treatment option would be really helpful. One way to target cancer cells may be to go after one or several of the the mutations that make them different to the body's regular cells. And that's what researchers in this study were looking at, a mutation in the KRAS protein. In healthy cells, this protein acts as an important on-off switch for cell growth, where it sends signals to the cell telling it to divide. Mutated KRAS is stuck in the on position, meaning the cells grow out of control, which leads to cancer. But these researchers noticed something else about cells with KRAS mutations. They loved iron. In particular, a relatively reactive form of iron called ferrous iron. Researchers noticed that genes that controlled iron intake and metabolism were really active in PDA tumors. And that meant that those tumors ended up with lots of iron stored up inside them. The tumors were so chock full of iron that the researchers described these tumors as having an addiction to the stuff. Researchers thought they could use the tumor's addiction against them to deliver anti-cancer drugs directly into tumor cells. They started with a drug called an FEADC, short for ferrous iron activatable drug conjugate. This is a mouthful, but they do exactly what it says on the tin. They are inactive until they come in contact with ferrous iron, and then they switch on and release the drug. By linking one of these FADCs to an already existing cancer drug called cobimetinib, researchers created a drug that was activated only inside human PDA tumor cells full of iron, and not healthy skin or eye cells. See, healthy eyes, skin, and gut tissue are often the unassuming victims of these kinds of anti cancer drugs, so researchers were particularly interested to see if this new drug avoided them. By adding the FEADC to the cancer drug, the drug was essentially switched off until it came in contact with ferrous iron in the tumor. They called the drug combo trx Kobe. Next, researchers tested trx Kobe on different mouse models that had different kinds of KRAS-driven cancers, including PDA, but also a kind of lung cancer. And again, the drug slowed down tumor growth without harming the mice's healthy cells, compared to when they tried tried cobimitinib on its own, which affected regular and cancer cells. Plus, the drug did not go after organs that naturally have iron stored up in them, like the liver. That might be because the iron stored there is in an inactive form, so it can't activate the drug in the same way as the ferrous form. In short, this new drug worked as well as an existing cancer drug, but without all the toxicity. As a final test, researchers tried trx Kobe together with other anti-cancer drugs. Because if the drug wasn't harming regular cells, then maybe patients could handle a more intense burst of therapy to really knock out their tumor. And these combination therapies worked even better at limiting tumor growth in those mouse models, with few side effects on normal tissue. And the researchers think this iron switch could be used with other anti-cancer drugs, too. Of course, this study was done in the lab and in mice, so it's not up to human testing quite yet. But hopefully, with more work, it could lead to more effective cancer treatments with fewer side effects down the line. Thanks for watching this episode of SciShow News, and thanks to Climeworks for sponsoring us today. We know that y'all care about science, which means you care about the climate crisis. Climeworks works to stop global warming by removing carbon dioxide from the air. They use a type of technology called direct air capture, which removes CO2 directly from the atmosphere. The CO2 can then be reused, upcycled, or stored geologically. And if you're interested in learning more about this process, their website has some great resources that explain how the air capture plants and storage process work. We're all thinking about how to respond to this crisis and reduce our carbon footprint and and Climeworks gives you a way to get started.
started. You can become a climate pioneer by subscribing at different tiers to remove up to 100 kilograms of CO2 per month, or creating a custom subscription. That's equivalent to 60 days of central heating in an average home. To get started, head to gift.climeworks.com scishow, and thanks for your support.